the Pointville Controversial, an episode about the Kuma Marcus yet again in the return of Diamond Tiara. Anyway, these four characters look Pointville Controversial, obviously. And this is the episode where Diamond Tiara is actually the antagonist in this episode. And I'll talk about her character later, but all I can say for right now is that she's just telling every point to do juicy stories, and that's it. So it's up to the Korean market sales to make very spicy stories for everyone in Ponyville. However, later in this episode, they completely ruin Pony's lives. And trust me, this is kind of like the Spongebob episode of the Krabby Chronicle, but this episode is done right better than that episode. Anyway, Rainbow Dash tries to give every copy away, but apparently it's too late since everyone knows about her, of what she did with the other ponies. Especially that Sweet Book completely uses Rarely's notebook. And my god, this is really crossing the line for the Cutie Marcusados. Big time. Especially later in the episode. And not only that, Diamond Tiara doesn't care about anyone's feelings at all. Since she wants spicy stories. And if the Q Market Sayers doesn't help her, she will embarrass them as well. Anyway, they tried to figure out one more story, and they did this. They apologized to everyone for what they did. And it's really one of the greatest moments of this show from the Kuri Marcusados. Since they learned their mistakes. In the ending of the episode, Diamond TR gets her come up it's, and that's how the episode ends. This episode is better than Krabby Connor by a long shot. Especially the scenes where the ponies are completely furious at the Kuri Marcusados of what they did. It's understandable. In Crappy Chronicle, there was no scenes like this because Spongebob was forced to do those stories. So, he didn't mean to ruin everyone else's lives, except that he was being forced to. Here, however, the Korean market sales are just fine ideas on making more stories. They won't have been forced. Dami Tiara really wants juicy stories, but she did not force the Korean market sales to make more. The only time that she did that is when she was about to expose them for embarrassment. But then again, at the end of the episode, she got her come up, so I can't complain about that. Speaking of Diamond Tiara, like I said in my Call of the Cutie review, that she's basically the typical bratty kid who is just doesn't get along and just wants to be popular and blah 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 and famous. She does the exact same thing that Mr. Krabs does, however, she at least gets her come up it's the right way, unlike Mr. Krabs. Really counterfeiting? Ugh. Anyway, this episode isn't one of my favorites, but it's still entertaining for the Kuri Marcusados. Of what they made mistakes to the other ponies is just one, and the way that they tried to apologize to them is really good. Now, if I was in a situation like this, I would probably never do anything like this to the other ponies. Because for one, if I do that, there will probably be no friendships at all. And secondly, it will lead to bad futures for the main characters. And it's really understandable and a lesson to everyone to never make bad stories to everyone. Unlike Spongebob, well, he didn't mean to make bad stories because he was forced to. The Kuri Marcusados did this intentionally. So, I really don't think Diamond TR didn't do anything far for this episode except in almost embarrassing the Kuri Marcusados. Anyway, this episode deserves... 6.8 out of 10. It's not a great episode, but I found it okay and better than Crappy Chronicle.